Yes, my viewers and subscribers, welcome to another episode of Jamaica Politics Uncovered. Guys, I want to send a message today to the Minister of Education, Feval Williams. There's a serious problem happening in our school system in Jamaica. And if it is not addressed now, we will not have a future. The children and the education system will determine the future of the country. Sixth grade is the roof and you never put the foundation, the roof will collapse. So um, again, it's a lack of creativity because we keep on doing an assessment at the end of the year, oh, you pass grade one. Maybe if you pass month one, there should be a remedial intervention. Article that says there's yet to be any robust national discussion on how to address the deficiencies in the education system. I that's, feel that's like we've been talking and talking and talking, well, talking and the needle is not moving. So you know what I'm going to say, guys? The first, very first thing I want to address with Ms. Minister Favor Williams is the behavior of the students in the school, the structure of the school system, the expectation of the school system. We need to do a reset. Yes, it has social media there, where the pitney them depend in a school. Yes, it the distraction of TikTok in schools. Yes, it the smartphone in schools. If that's not addressed first, in no matter what we do as a society, we are not going to get the kids where they need to be. First of all, Favor Williams, you need to, as Minister of Education, is to create a policy in every school in Jamaica where students may be allowed to bring their cell phones, but they're not allowed to be on their cell phones, which means that they should not be on TikTok while they're in school. They should not be on social media while they're in school. They should not be TikToking and making videos and are wind up themselves, putting themselves on TikTok and on social media. Favor, this is destroying the fabric of the nation, the future of the nation, our young people. Too much of them. You see what just happened with the police them? The police commissioner and them had to address the officers who went on TikTok and jump on trend to give a certain perception about the Jamaica Constabulary Force. I am going to give you an example. I am a mother. I have a teenager, 15 years old. The school that she attends, she can bring her cell phone, but the moment she's caught on it, I, as the parents, must go to the school and get the cell phone. And she may be not be able to bring the cell phone back to school. So there must be policies because they cannot be recording stuff and put it from the school and putting it on social media. Because that violates the privacy of other students and so on and so forth. So we need to have a very robust policy in schools where social media, smartphones, technology is concerned. Where the academic failures are concerned. I looked at the Patterson report about two years ago. One thing with Jamaica, we are going to do good research to find out what the problem is. So we know what the problem is. And that's something that Jamaica needs to work on bipartisan where our politicians are concerned. Just because the PMP not in our government or don't even look like they're going to come back to power anytime soon doesn't mean you cannot work with a Damian Crawford bipartisan to get the ball rolling. Sit down with Damian Crawford and other people who can help to change the situation in the school system and the education system. You should want to work bipartisan. This is one of the things that we can work bipartisan on as a people and as a country, right? Invite people at the table, give them a seat at the table and ask them, you know, how can you help? Help us. Let's work together. We're not supposed to be so tribal that just because that person is not in government, or they, they don't belong to our party. We're not going to allow them to be part of the solution. We need to be bringing everybody to the table. And we need to be putting hands and hearts together and putting things in motion. But the first thing, Favel, I'm going to ask and request and plea of you. Get the kids off social media in the schools. If you are on TikTok or you go on TikTok, you see them. They are putting themselves out there to sexual predators. They are winding up themselves, dancing up themselves, and gyrating. And there are people out there who are not of good intention looking on at the kids. They're recording and putting out fights. And they, they need to be responsible about how they use social media. And the schools 
need to make sure that they have policies that are holding kids accountable. Faval, you are old enough like a lot of people where we couldn't do certain things in our uniform because that puts a bad representation on our school and put our schools in a bad light. We need to get back to accountability of our schools, of our faculty members, and of our students. Please, Faval Williams, I hope that you'll hear this and I hope that you take it into consideration. Look at the policies in other jurisdictions where schools are concerned. Our kids are too plentiful on social media while they're in schools and they have very little regard today about their conduct and how they represent their schools. A major part of the failure is because the students are distracted. They don't need to be on those cell phones and on TikTok while they're in school. So let's get rid of the distraction before we do anything else. That's all I'm saying. Guys, keep it locked here to Jamaica Politics Uncovered. And make sure you're subscribing to the channel.